This new multimodal open model closes a gap between open and closed source models. It's quite fascinating to see that this is a completely open model with Apache 2.0 license and this model comes in multiple different variants. In this video, I'm going to break down what kind of models are available and where do these models stand in terms of the competition. First of all, this is not just one model, it's a family of models. It is called Molmo. It's coming from AlanAI.org. It's a research organization. You can go ahead and then try out this model, which also something that we'll do in the video. But if you wait to just genuinely look at the model in itself there are four different models that they have launched a 1 billion parameter model but a mixture of experts model a 7 billion parameter model that is built on top of their previous model called Olmo the 7 billion parameter model which is built on top of Quen 2 7 billion parameter language model and a 72 billion parameter model which is built on top of Quen 2 72 billion parameter model it's basically taken Quen 2 72 billion parameter model and they have managed to fine tune it on 1 billion token of uh, their own data set that they've got so the pix pix more data set with uh, 1 million highly curated image to text pair data is what they use to train this quen 272 billion parameter model and also they use open ai's clip which is an open library as a backbone completely it's a permissive license apache 2.0 license so you can do anything whatever you want with the model the model also scores pretty good so if you average 11 academic benchmarks this model is quite at the top even much better than gpt 40 gpt 4 vision gemini 1.5 Pro, Gemini 1.5 Flash, Lord 3.5 Sonnet. So this model, you just purely look at academic benchmarks. This model is already crossing all the proprietary models. And in fact, if you were to compare it with Quen VL2 72 billion parameter model, this model is even better than that. This is based on academic benchmarks, not human preference. But if you were to look at human preference, still this model is almost top model, except a GPT-40, a slight difference, uh, a two point ELO score between GPT-40 and a Molmo 72 billion parameter model. But again, like if you just ignore that, it is better than Gemini 1.5 Pro. It is better than a Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And now you can see that it is much better than every other model like for example Mixtral launched Pixel 12 billion parameter model and it is already better than Pixel. So this is a model that is quite excellent. Uh, this is a model that you can run on different sort of machine. Like I said, there are four different versions. So based on the kind of compute that you have got 7 billion, if you're like me, you don't have a lot of compute, then you can go ahead with the 7 billion D model. The D model is one based on Quen and uh, the O model is based on the Olmo. So this is their previous model, which was like completely open source. Now, if we are going to test this model, uh, they've got a very nice, interesting blog post where they're sh showing different kind of things that you can do with the model. One is open-ended question and answering. You point and ask things, uh, just like, you know, how you uh, circle and ask something. Counting with pointing. So, but one thing that actually caught my eye, very interesting is this model, they managed to put it on Google, uh, uh, Apple Vision Pro and they started asking questions about uh, things that they can see. So basically they have, uh, because this is an open model and uh, you know, with MLX and other things, you can run this on Apple Vision Pro, which is kind of a computer at this point, which is actually a computer. Then you can load this model and they started asking questions. And it's very interesting as you can see here. So the guy is like wearing Apple Vision Pro and then you can see him asking like uh, questions and Apple Vision Pro sees uh, through this model and then gets back to them and answers them whatever things that it sees. It's very interesting because this is possible because it's an open model. Uh, we are just right off of Llama Vision model and uh, one of the thing that Mark Zuckerberg wants to do is to put Llama Vision models into the Rayban glasses that they've got, the Meta Rayban glasses. And this model can make it easier if you are trying to build something open with this. So this is a model that comes with open weights and they are also releasing the data. They've also released the paper so you can go see here the paper is available. So this is a truly, truly open model. And uh, the model in this particular case is uh, very interesting to be honest. Uh, the, it's not just the, this is a model that you have to use, but you can use the data and the other things. Let's take a quick look at the demo. So you can upload the image and then ask any questions. They've given you a bunch of uh, images there. So for example, you can select this image and uh, you can just say, describe this image. It says, this image is a detailed weather map depicting the one day forecast of precipitation and a lot of other information. So I'm gonna go back here, start a new chart um, and you can upload the image that you want. I'm just going to upload this image. Uh, okay, we train Molmo models on multimodal data. It has been extensively filtered for quality and safety. And okay, I'm fine. I'm 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 a grown up. I can go with this. 
okay so describe uh, describe this image as a song okay so send this so i want it to describe this image as a song i'm not sure if it can get the song part okay cool it's got a llama 32 vision verse one white device on his face face books mark zuckerberg's place blue shirt he's smiling wide in his virtual reality guide llama 32 vision that's the name in the world of tech it's not the same he's holding it with both hands in this digital lands this is actually quite fascinating i've never seen this kind of stuff so it managed to understand uh what is there uh so it uh could do OCR, it could read what is there, it could understand that this is Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, verse 2, three lenses on the front, a virtual reality crown, black straps go around as he explores the ground. And you repeat the chorus and yeah, this is quite good. So let's quickly go click a new chat and then start something else, uh, something less fun. So one of the things that I wanted to try is the apple picture, let's say apples in a photo. And uh, we are going to try to use this picture, which we tried with Llama Vision, where Llama Vision misunderstood this one. So I'm going to save this one. And okay, this is a picture that may not be supported. Let's see, but upload this image. Okay, this is supported. Cool, web page. Um, how many apples are there on this picture? And, okay, describe this. And so I wanted to tell me, first of all, what is in the picture and then how many pictures are there. The image displays five apples arranged on a bed of black bubble wrap there are three green apples two red apples green apples are positioned in the center and bottom left while the red apples on the top left and bottom right okay so if you were to consider this as bottom right all the apples appear fresh and ripe with a glossy surface that suggests that they have been recently washed that's quite interesting because it has got even this tiny detail that this apple has been washed the contrast between vibrant red and green apples against the dark bubble wrap creates a visually appealing composition. Okay, this is quite good. So I'm going to upload another image. But now in this case, I'm going to use it as a, a thumbnail rating. Okay, so I'm, I have got a bunch of thumbnails. So I'm going to upload this. Can you rate this YouTube thumbnail? Um, use, use popular popular youtubers like mr beast and mkbhd as a uh, inspiration give me a score and details okay so i've uploaded this i've never used this as a thumbnail but i want to see what it says it gives me 7 out of 10 it says this thumbnail effectively combines eye-catching elements with clear message the neon ai news so once again this is the attention to detail that you cannot see on a lot of different models so it figured out that this is a neon light it's not just a normal ai news that this is neon light so that is very interesting draws attention and set the topic which is crucial for attracting viewers the man gesture of pointing at the sign is a clever sign to engage the audience emphasizing the subject matter so it says there is news and all the other things so overall i think this is a fascinating model Next, I'm going to figure out how to run this model locally um, or uh, probably on the GP that you've got. Maybe I might put out a tutorial where you can run this on Google Colab, if not on RunPod, and we'll see how to do it. But this is quite an interesting model. Uh, kudos and thanks to Alan AI for releasing truly open model. I know we are all fascinated by Llama Vision, but we shouldn't forget initiatives like this, which actually bridge the gap between open and closed models while not having any sort of let's say a license reservation this is truly open model it's a vision language model i'm happy that this model exists along with the data set thank you so much alan ai see you in another video happy prompting